it's Genevieve, and I am introducing you into an amazing world of my life. I'm hoping you can come with me for the journey. There's a few things to start out with. Number one, most people do coffee. I don't. I do tea. But I don't do like normal tea. I was taught by, well, a Brit how to make tea. So hopefully someone like Kathy Hay will actually appreciate making tea this way. First of all, you need to get them. Second of all, you need cold water. So let's get to that. So thanks for watching this with me. Sharing, liking, commenting, everything below. You know the deal. Ring the bell. Make the subscribe button work. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Well, this is my lovely kitchen. And this is a teapot with water in it. Don't use it. People don't understand that to make good tea, it takes time. It can't be one of those, oh my goodness, fly by the seat of your pants kind of tea. No. Cold water on. Teapot in. Wait till full. See you in a few. Also, you can also have a stitch watch. This is Stitch Meowsy. He is my baby, one year old. Hey Stitch, come say hi. You gonna sit? Boy, good boy, giving people hugs. Oh, water's ready. A little too full. Eh. Pour off. Make sure it's not above. What? Are you hungry? Am I starving you? Of course. So, on to said kettle. Click. And see, people, I give real life. Now, this is my treasure. My lovely husband, Michael, bought it for me when he went over to BC. Inside, you will find water. Empty that out. All the way out. And this is where you use hot water. Over to the tap. Turn it on. Turn it down a little bit so you can actually hear me. And notice the inside of my teapot, she's got stains. That's how it's supposed to be. You never, ever, ever wash out the inside of your teapot because it should never, ever, ever get something gross or mildewy in there. But should life happen, because it does, you can bring your teapot back down to absolute shiny stainless if you wish. But what I'm doing here is I am prepping my lovely teapot with hot water on the inside to warm it up. Hot teapot means hot tea. Now, yes, you may see that there's old ceramic teapots, and I'm talking old people. We have lovely cracks and fissures and stains. No problem. Sometimes we don't have teapots. We're still learning. So you go to your closest container, get out your trusty a jug, use that. Always remember though, preheat your duck. See you when that boils, because you know a watch kettle never boils. Look and look, we are almost there. Now, what is important, as soon as you can, you get lovely tea bags. Of course, I use Tetley. Take your water out of said teapot. You can always save this water that you're pouring out down the sink and actually water your plants after it's cooled down. We don't waste. We don't have to. Now, I have this lovely basket in my awesome teapot. And you put in said tea bag. Grab the freshly boiled water. 
second part. Nice and slow. Now, people who don't like to have a lot of caffeine, you stop here, give this a swirl, and dump it out. The first 30 second pour of the tea, that is where all your caffeine comes out of. So if you want decaffeinated, lovely tea, then that's what you need to do. If you like a light brew, you pour faster. If you like a dark brew, nice and slow. Pour right up to the line. Then the worst part, <sighs> you have to wait. But while we wait for our tea to brew, I will give you a quick peek of my tea cover. We have our Tetley Bowl, not sponsored. How to doctor my tea. Extra special teas that people may appreciate when they come to visit. And at the top, again, not sponsored, but David's Tea. Oh, fabulous when you want something a little bit different. You also might see that little bit of oil oregano. That's in future episodes. T, 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 all the way up. So when I spill the tea, I really spill the tea. Ah. Two minutes. See it in a few. Yep. Stitch is not your normal cat. No, you're not. Oh. That was not his dish, by the way. That is when his sibling comes to visit. Then we need more bowls. What are you doing, Stitch? You're more dog than cat. But, off to our tea. So, back at the tea stand. Closing said covered tea door. You take your pot. Open her up. Allow for a little cool water to enter. Squish to cool down. And fill with cold water. I shan't bore you with this. Give me a few. And we're back. So, here is our lovely teapot. Ooh, hot to the touch. Grab said favorite container. Doctor as you see fit. Me. And a little bit of sugar. Because I ain't sweet. And yes, for those purists that are out there, even that is too much. But for my morning cup, I gotta have some powder creamer. And up she goes. Again, not sponsored. Probably going, why don't you have anything to stir with? Because good tea never, ever, ever is stirred. You're probably wondering, well, how does she know how to do this one? You don't even hear a faint trace of a British accent, which you won't. Many, many moons ago, when going to a tiny little high school in Mission called Hatzik, I had a very wonderful boyfriend there, and Darren's mom and dad, and him actually, were all from Britain. Shout out. Oh, hang on. You can't see me. Let's turn this around. There we go. So, Darren's lovely mother was four foot almost nothing. And she very much well told me one thing. In life, you have to know two things. One, two, three, four, two, how to make 
make a good cup of tea. Can't do that? Don't go anywhere else and go yell at it. But with the second part, you have to go through life to learn where you want to be. Back to the tea. So back to the tea. This lovely cup of tea, in my opinion, is done. But for those who are not convinced, go in and grab said teaspoon. Go into your cup. Nothing's at the bottom. The reason you don't put a teaspoon into your tea is so that you don't get that metallic taste. You've gone to all this trouble of using cold water, waiting till it's come to just the boil, putting it on, and voila! You make yourself a good cup of tea. It doesn't have to be in a fancy cup. It can be. But it's your tea, and this is the way I make tea. So, here's the tea. In life, there's gonna be challenges. But, if you make your bed, you have a good cup of tea, you can really deal with them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you had a lot of fun learning. I hope that if you know anything else to make this tea better, down in the comments. Give me a like. Heck, subscribe if you want to. Most of my channel is not going to be making tea. It's going to be a network. Oh, sewing, cooking, baking, all around fun stuff. Because that's what life is. Maybe occasionally a stitch bomb. But we'll see you later. Bye. The Rare Stripes only shows up when there's food. Right, Stitch? Right. And here we are in the cut. Why, you ask? Well, the kind of tea you drink is just as important as what you put in your tea or what you put in your body because what you put in your body fuels your body and what you put in your tea, well, that can give you benefits if you do your research. Always do your research. Let it be known. I am not a master or a physicist or a scientist or a professional in that regard. But what I do know is that research. Then research your research and then research your research of your research. Long story short, unless you're 100% sure or you buy it from a reputable shop, don't trust it. So, so, here we go. Ah, oh, yes. Let's get going. Fabulous, I'd love to. Awesome. Do you have any allergies? No allergies at all. By the way, everybody, we're at David's Tea, if you can't tell. Fabulous, thank you. Oh, that's so nice and warm. I love that the cups are warm, nice and clean, and the tea is cold and yummy. And what else do you have? Oh, yes, please. Take a look at that board, people. Every possibility of tea that you can dream up of is here. I always recommend that you come check out your local tea mart. This way, you know if you like something or not. And this one is what? Uh, this one here is Lemon Smash. Lemon Smash. That is so cool. Nice and clear. Wow, that is bright. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to add to this? Uh, we also have the blueberry shake on sample. Do you want to try that out? That would be fabulous. Cool. Take a look at this. On the board, they have a tea of the day, all their popular flavors, and again, not sponsored, although I wish. And this one is the blueberry shake. Mm. Phenomenal. Thank you very much. 
So this is the blueberry smash. Let's try it. Magnificent. Can you believe this is how clear it is? I'm talking about the lemon smash. Let's try this. Amazing. And check this color out for the cherry lacuma. Teas come in every variety that's on this planet. Enjoy. Let's try it. Mmm, nice tang of tea. Cherry note to finish. This is Wes, home to you. Love me some Jack FM. Let's get inside. So thanks for watching this with me. Sharing, liking, commenting, everything below. You know the deal. Ring the bell, make the subscribe button work, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.